Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with Critical Role with the Q&A for Episode 5, The Legend of Vox Machina. We just got done with Episode 4. I jumped right into Episode 5. I edited up Episode 4 first. I always like to give you guys something to watch while I edit up the others, because it's going to take me at least another hour or two by the time I watch them, and then I do my intros, my exits. I edit those up. I throw them up on the thing. Believe it or not, even if it's a smooth transition and I edit it up without a problem, no copyright, everything goes as planned. Even then, it still takes me 30 to 45 minutes just to get it up on YouTube because you got to put all the tags and you got to do this and that. And it takes forever, even when things go your way. And then when things don't go your way and you got copyright claims and you got to edit things up more. Sometimes I do three or four edits of video. I had no problems with any Legend of Vox Machina content until episode five and six of the actual show last week. They gave me a lot of problems. That's why episode six came out much later than it did. I had the first three episodes out the first week in 24 hours, give or take. The second batch took me a lot longer. It was almost three days till I got episode six out. And that wasn't because I wasn't trying. It had to have been five or six edits on episode six. I don't know what was doing it. Maybe because I don't know. I don't know. Things just don't ever make sense to me. It could have been one scene that I had in there that was flagging and I kept doing it. There's been times where I've edited up things down to like three minutes and it's one scene. Over the years gotten better at it. So it hasn't happened as much as it has back in the day. It really doesn't happen too much at all. But I'm ranting. We're going into this. This is Liam O'Brien. He is the thumbnail we're using for episode five. I can't help but love the knife he has. The dagger in his hand, that is a cool-ass dagger. Did he have this dagger custom-made for this character, or did he just use something for the character? Like, is that a dagger from something else, or some sort of custom dagger, or maybe just a dagger or a knife that he had in his collection, and it sort of fit the character? I don't know, but I feel like he will be what we dive more into. Actually, no. In episode four, we did dive into the art of all the characters. We did Vex, we did Vax, and we did Percy. So I guess we did do all the character animation art. I love that stuff. When they show the different concept art of people or places or vehicles or anything like that. I love concept vehicles, like real vehicles you purchase and stuff. I always go to the car shows at the Javits Center in New York. I love that kind of stuff. Prototypes, things like that. That's what we were seeing in the last one, but I guess we covered them all in that case. Maybe this episode will focus on the world around us. I feel like each episode they try to focus more on something. So clearly the first one was what their looks were going to possibly look like and what they ended up looking like. We had Vax tell us. Mr. Liam O'Brien himself, tell us that he wanted to go with a more slender look. They had a more muscular looking Vax, but honestly, that kind of character isn't supposed to be muscular. In my mind, the thief, the rogue, the agile type guy, you want to have a more slender look. You want him to be more versatile, not like a big brute muscular look like Silas. I feel like every choice they've made so far was spot on exactly what it should be. Even Percy's look. They had a version of Percy that had like this more jagged jawline, but it almost made him look younger yet more inexperienced. I don't know. It gave him some sort of like a goofier look where the Percy we're dealing with, I take more seriously than I would of that Percy. And then Vex basically look the same. The thing they juggled around the most with Vex was where to mount her arrows, her quivers, which I thought was interesting. And he said that even though everyone puts it on the back, that's not the right place to put it. Not the most accessible place, he said. Either way, let's jump in. I'm curious to see this one. It might be the longest of all the Q&As I've done. I feel like this one's a good 20, 25 minutes, and then I got the intro and exit. So this might be the longest of all the Q&As. Let's jump in. You guys want to see more of what I do, full on edited reactions, all the shows on the channel, seasons ahead of what you're seeing, and hundreds of exclusives you only see on Patreon. The link's at the end. If not, Jumping in. This is Critical Role Q&A for Episode 5, The Legend of Vox Machina. Um, that's what we say to that shit. Oh, I'm sorry. I cursed. I apologize. Oh, oh my God. They look horrified. Oh. Which one was that? Yeah, it wasn't fucking and this around. damn creaking. Oh. Also, the creaking. Yeah, yeah, it's a really brilliant actual way chills. It, mm -hmm. Way to hold it. Yeah. yeah. And that's what I love about the show is like, you guys, there's so much so much like great stuff already there and it's like well how do we take that great stuff and just uh, really yeah this was like 
really make the audience the big like, one. Like, mm. Think for a roller coaster ride, right? Well, I mean, they're you all are great. Vox Machina in this moment. You're just standing in the silence, letting it, the the truth sink yeah. in, and you're hearing that. Mm -hmm. It's an unbelievable choice. It reminded me of. I like hope they the talk about episodes, experiences. It's just a black screen, so you see just, your yeah. your jaw dropping in the screen the in front of you. Mm -hmm. That was very this moment of you're just realizing like, oh, those are dead. Sit like the oh my, those are villagers that they hung. The tree. The We're details, talking like the, the sun tree, obviously. Yeah. Oh. 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 yeah. Character team really. Nailed that one. Or the fact that <laughs> there were two gnomes in the party, so they took two. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's dark. I appreciate mm. the yeah. not, greatness not cool. of it all, not but cool that's dark. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, I remember, like, in the game, as he was describing each person on the tree, and all of us. I've reacted to, to this. If you go watch on the was. channel, I have the original oh. video in the description it of is. that video. Yeah. Talk about Sun that tree, man. I did two uh, reactions I, I to it. On, I wasn't Different ones. Critter. I didn't really know much about this world and these characters. And um, even as the show started, like, I, I started learning more about it. But I actually hesitated from going and watching things because I kind of wanted to <laughs> have a, a fresh take on these stories that you guys are recreating, right? Yeah. Um, so I didn't know the context of how heavy that moment was from the campaign until now when I'm seeing all the fans, like, Talk really? About it and show like how do you? Side by side I'm side by side. Really? So I'm getting like a double hit. Like, side by oh, side. Like, well, what like, are people well, reacting, having, doing having it that way? It, like, I didn't watch it. side by side. I mean, yeah, I mean, like the board team and I, we were just like, we just wanted like to tell a very impactful story, which that was our main priority. But yeah, like the context of it, I'm getting like a reverse. It, it like, was the <laughs> moment in that game where everything changed. Yeah. 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 Really? Was it that was, it was, pivotal? Was safe. I mean, I guess that would make sense because where else would it have happened never at happened that point? <laughs> and we were never, suddenly I, I mean, you, if you think about it, it makes sense because if something else was and bigger, it would have probably been in it. You know, you should probably just, just the finish show. it up if there's anything you're missing because I'm, I really, I just want to have everything in a row. Like, yeah. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. And then, oh no. I'm oh, I just, wow. if you ever see me look over here, I'm just making oh, wow. sure the cameras and everything are going. Sometimes shit turns off on me. On that heavy note, shall we move on to some Q and A? Yeah. My God, that we didn't even start the Q and A yet. That's probably why that's yeah. so long. This is for the twins. <laughs> um, this for is the, the twins. first. Uh, just kidding. That's I can't read. This is for Laura and Talison. Oh. oh, not for the twins. Sorry. That is the second question. This is the first episode where we were seeing some Vex and Percy chemistry a mm -hmm. little bit bubble up. So can you talk to us about that? And what do they see in each other? She's hot. <laughs> he's hot. Uh, he's hot. She's I, I, hot. I will say she's, at that point, the only person he actually thinks is another adult. He has a very. Yeah, I, I mean that he, is he, he pretty think he's the only much adult true. All the time, you're the only other person that I believe at that. Point I mean, Vax. Is but it's it, her. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I mean, it makes sense. Your Girl, brother, guy, they can't. She can't date her brother. Obviously. The rest of them are kind of <laughs> wacky drunks. Looks, uh, you know. She, she, she comes. She comes from a. From she's like age, a little sister. Yeah, Keyleth is too innocent sister. and she's pure. Really, yeah, she's not there yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're the you're the only other person I can talk to, like an actual human being. And she's hot. Enough. And she's so hot. Yeah. God. That's uh, fair. That's yeah. Fair. Yeah. But he's hot. And he's very hot. What's so interesting hot. to me um, is I think Vex yeah, looks guess, like uh, Laura Bailey. If Laura Bailey yeah, I was think, I mean, like a the, like, huntress, so much like death. she's very attractive. It's almost like seeing what he's. I don't know because. It's I don't know. It's, we, I don't know. It's, it's nothing not wrong with it. I just feel like it's like if she, if they keep talking about how hot she is, mysteries. they're you're, basically you're talking about her and being terrible all the time. I will say like that. Like Vex's character is like, why don't you just calm down? And mm. Maybe maybe slow it down. Like I feel like Liam room. looks a lot like Vax. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> oh. There was a gun in my face, man. <laughs> there, there. I mean, they all look like their characters, uh, so to speak, so, somewhat. Liam. Same question. I feel like Laura looks we're the most look like a like, 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 like hers. For the key lift. Um, when you were working <laughs> with the writers on how to introduce that, what was going through your head as he takes a long sip oh, of his boy. drink? Uh, <laughs> well, it's, a, it, it's wrapped up in sort of how we've had to condense so much. Yeah. Um, in the original game, things were staggered. Somebody quite, quite told me and once who's the oldest. They're all together, relatively within five years, give or take. I think he might be the oldest so like you're in real life. 
seeing the glimmer between them as uh, Vax and Keyleth are more obvious in in Yeah, ours potential. is far more like subtle right now, right. for sure. Yeah. Um, and we've lost the whole, we, like we've- I mean, yeah, we've Vax and Keyleth have been like in your face, commented on. Games that we played. So we're coming in later. Mm. Right. And so it was like, there was definitely trying to figure out like, well, what can you, what, where are you landing and how much are you doing if you're coming in, jumping past a bunch of stuff, mm -hmm. but an audience is seeing it for the first time. Mm. So there, there has been a lot of, gosh, I don't want to get too deep into it. <laughs> so much yet to come, but yeah. there was a lot of fine tuning, like the timing of it, where the two of them, like, like uh, the two he like spoils something. Like, uh, They're like you idiot. At the fair where you're squirting water and you make the horses go down mm -hmm. the track. You're I like, love where that are game. They each One on of my track. favorites. Yeah. I don't know how reliable um, the system so was though, because I feel like some people would win that shouldn't have. It's a big part of it. Boy, romances. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come a long way. And I feel like huh? everyone in the group <laughs> has somebody um, except Grog. For the twins up there. Oh. Uh, we got some Vex Maybe? and Vax backstory in episodes one and two, but in episode four and five, we really get to see Vex and Vax's sibling dynamic, particularly when Vex picks up on Vax's open. feelings for Keyleth. For the folks at home who maybe aren't as familiar with the twins, talk to us about what's going on there. Why is Vex so suspicious of Vax's feelings mm. for Keyleth? What's with the cold shoulder? What's with the doubt? Right, right, right. I sort of like mentioned it in the as we were watching, but uh, Vex and Vax grew up having continually losing everything in their life that is important to them in various ways. Yeah, we and, don't know a lot about uh, that at all. The only constant throughout their life was each other, mm. um, and they've always relied. On and each I've other. heard had each background back. stuff, but and I don't know so what in is canon moments of seeing in the show. Oh, there is a, a genuine interest there because I'm, I'm sure in in their in their past they've had moments of you know he's going to go off and do something she's going to go off and do something like yeah, they both have dalliances yeah obviously but um like this is the first time she's seeing like this vulnerability with him with somebody else and like I mean it, they, I, I don't think they had a lot of opportunities like, I know where this could go and possibly the they did I don't know. I don't know them being left behind I stopped hanging out with them years ago comes out for Vex as cold shoulder shittiness, basically. Like, I'm gonna push away the thing that is putting me at risk. Um, so she's extra terrible to Keyleth in those moments because she's mm -hmm. the thing that's- I like how everyone's like nodding like, like, yes, this is it's correct. A very, very honest yes. emotion to feel. I feel like mm -hmm. none of us here in this room are perfect. We've all acted a little shittily towards something that oh, sure. deeply scares us. <clears throat> and I just, I genuinely love that kind of representation of the shittier sides of us. It's like, nobody's gonna be like, oh my gosh, yes, thank you, beautiful person yeah. who may take my brother away right. from me. I that's mean, all I've had. Yeah, it'd like, be great if we could all be like the perfect person all the time, but right. we're not. And no, I think that's what makes yeah. these characters- Well put, agreed. Relatable, right? Mm -hmm. are, are there flaws? And, and he gets it too. Like he knows exactly mm. why she's totally. responding the way she is. It, and so he's trying to like navigate and make sure that she feels supported and loved and, and not abandoned, which is something that the two of them struggle with while mm -hmm. also trying to be like, well, but I can, I, we sh we're, we're supposed to grow up and we're supposed to live. And, <laughs> and I'm still, you know, it's just yeah. a hard, hard little needle. With it's like awesome. I would yeah. almost and believe they were brother and sister. The way they the interact time. together, you know, just going down this he path seems path. like <laughs> a caring, <laughs> like protective like, brother best, whenever they like sit with. next to each other mm, and like, stuff. She's adorable. She's powerful and cute at the same fucking time. She's amazing. She's yeah. an amazing. And she talks to trees. What's better? Yeah, like what's better than that? Right. So it's like I'm forcing myself to really dislike you right now. Yeah. You know. I mean, it's kind of like in The Lion King, where Nala comes back and Timon and Pumbaa are really pissed about it. Exactly. And they sing, "Can you feel the love?" <laughs> what a comparison! You know? I you love know? it. Lion King is. Oh yeah. And yeah. Yeah. No. I, I, it's maybe really the can we talk top about how the Lion King is five Disney movie backstory? <laughs> Sorry how, if it's your favorite. Honestly, if you really I like look deeply, Little Mermaid yeah, and Beauty and the Beast better. A little bit better. A little bit better. I want to do the. I want to. Dear critters out there, if you can equate the Lion King. To Vex and Vax as much as physically possible. Timon and Pumbaa specifically. Timon and Pumbaa specifically. Get back to us. <sighs> Nathan Lane and I went to the same high school. Lion King might be. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going on a, on a, a rant of it. unnecessary. Wait, is that true? Yep. That sounds true. Not at the same time. Oh. But same high school. Now, at the same time, would have come back with some yeah, yeah, amazing yeah. stories. My headphones. 
good. are Arthur. falling off mm-hmm. my head. So are you. All right. That's I hear better. another question's oh. coming. She was just about to ask. What's the next one? Nathan Lake, meh. Sometimes. It's all right. It's function. Yes. There is a bug. Get him. No, Get no, him. I don't want to murder on live television. We've murdered so many bugs on stream. Before I won't be one of those people, again. mainly because I have bad reflexes. Um, we have this murdered episode so has many an incredible bugs. chase scene, and I want you to walk us through how you go about directing a scene like this. But before you answer, yes. let's take a look at a little animatic, shall we? Oh, with the beast dogs. I love it. Isn't this... Are they going over the cliff? They're not the only ones. It's Scott Scanlon. We have no choice. I am not dying to save that nerve. I love the color usage. Scanlan is purple, my favorite. Shoot for his head! Nick! He's dead! Come on, Vex! No one breaks balls better than you! He's not wrong. You missed! Let go of the uh, block, dumbass! I, I'm curious how far they go. Are they going to show when it cuts in half? On the cut. Poor horses. Oh my god, the horse in the background. It showed it so bright with the red. Oh, we didn't get to see it. I mean, those are great. Anything I'll take. I'll take anything. But the dog and the horse. If you watch my reaction, I didn't realize that was the horse on the first watch. I thought that was the cart exploded. It did it so quick. It's so visible there. The horse. Oh, I even said I don't want the horse to die, but the horse is dying. Um... The, uh, yeah, chase sequences are, are challenging because it's that constant sense of momentum that you have to keep track of. That was as very well done. Sees and knows. Animation is like by frame, you know, like catered each frame. So, um, I've had people new, tell like, me they to, love like, the show, but they feel the animation the is cheap. How's the speed and I don't going? quite uh, agree. Came, I see what they're saying, the I think. Like, it's not. Arcane or something shit, like that, like that kind of look, but it's long, damn you know? good, I think. Yeah. Same yeah. Like, yeah. Sorry, I'm over talking Sun Jin. Um, in the animag, I, I saw like a harmony of like a lot of art. Like it was originally, um, Shine did the original boards, and then Alicia and Revision. I saw some Marvin poses um, just added on top of it. Um, so, like, ultimately, yeah, that approach in the chase, like, I think Shine really set the groundworks of like. Like how long we're gonna stay? There, some music just kicked in like loud gang, gang, in the background. I like it. And, oh boy, I remember when she was boarding that too. There was there was like one time I was like, "Are you okay, girl?" Because like uh, <laughs> like she went, she was like studying like how like the the rules we running and the horses galloping. Oh, so bad. And like, mm-hmm. and, like so bad. one time I saw her on her Instagram post like she just did like this horse drawing. All I saw and all I said was just horses dot dot dot. I was like. Okay. Breaking down a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> but she really, you know, she really set the bone structure of that chase sequence, and then um, it's a little favorite to me. I was like, hey, Alicia, like, because Alicia did that sequence of the when the wolf fell off the cliff, mm. and also the horses. Originally, the horses. <laughs> Might have made it out alive. I was like, hey, Alicia, could you um, add a little cherry on top? Oh her? my god! I literally just talked about this. The end of the chase sequence there, and uh, she, yeah, so she did some beautiful illustrations there of like how of that zombie wolf in the foreground, and then the the, the secondary fall in the back. So. And I missed it the oh, first. I saw it explode in the back, but I couldn't tell because it happened so quick. And it was I'm looking at the dog in the forefront. But on the second watch, when I re-edited it and stuff, I'm like, oh my god, that's the horse. Because in my mind, I thought the same thing. It's it's dead, but they didn't show it die. They did. So we don't have to think about Equus? Thank you. Woo, those are pretty. Those are pretty. Those are actually really pretty. I talked about that, too, how I thought the cart... It looks like C is what they used. So living. We had to, like, make the designer... Because it was a raggedy-looking cart. We had to like strategically decide on a design level, like the canopy, how much, because we know in wide shots, it's, it's very hard to track characters. I love shit like this. This really kind of stuff, I go watch forever. So I'm a huge have, Star like, Wars fan, and I love watching so breakdowns came, um, of ships and concept art and stuff. In, like, wide or medium shots, like be able to hide what's going on inside and then cut inside to show it in a different kind of a setup. Um, but yeah, it was just some killer um, designs and smart Christ, moves made. Everything. Yeah. yeah. We had, you know, that's oh, kind of how, yeah. you know, how we have to roll the animation for sure. Ooh, look at those four forks. Yes. Oh, those ones got like more layers. Um, the right one's got like. Last iteration. 
uh, of that almost we like, with, like, because we definitely. Huh. I think even from the script, it was meant to be more like outlandish, necrotic. The top like right the one. Not even like recognizable. Yeah, like these. Mm -hmm. These were like, uh, like almost like hodgepodge. Oh like what if Delilah What the mixed frig is that top left together. one? Yeah, that one? The one on the bottom left yeah. looks like an yeah. evil and, dead uh, type thing. Yeah, like those, those from, animal uh, heads. I think it's evil you know, dead. Am I thinking, yeah, I'm pretty sure evil dead. Like the animals on the walls in the cabin, it looked like I love that shit, man. Anatomy is like another like, I thought they might go into the world. I said they're, they're going to show some kind of thing, but they already showed them uh, getting bits and bases. The legs, but the the twist was like like the wolf leader had like that gaping open the head thing, you know? Like I did, I missed it. I missed it. <laughs> so that was like how we. They're still going like, for the bug. The plot twist of like, okay, how do we do do favor to Delilah? Like, why would she send these creatures if they're not like super badass and super scary, right? So. I mean, uh, like getting impaled by it. a rock and then twisting your guts yeah. over and walking away is pretty badass on its own, so 10 out of 10 there. Yeah. And then turning your tongue gut spine into legs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Horrific. Yeah. Whoever decided that is truly fucked up in the mind, and I salute them. Yes. Cool, 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 cool. Well put. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Uh, I think uh, the honors go to you. Love it. Truly fucked up in the head. <laughs> hey, you them. need that. <laughs> <laughs> this... um, how about a question from the chat for all of you? Oh shit, yeah. we still got one more question. This right. is, this is a long cast. one. Um, how long did it take yourselves to believe that this was real? This was finally <laughs> happening. I'm still waiting for that to happen. Still fever dreamed. I, oh, that would make, though. honestly, that really? is the yeah. most believable but, like, answer. You guys have posters in LA. It's only yeah. three yeah, weeks was... in, you not even three weeks in to when it started. <sighs> you have five, really? No. What? No, no. That's all of them. No. No. I would that's believe all, it, it feels, yeah. it feels that's unreal. all of them. Yeah. That's all like, of the stuff. At stars. the end of the day, we go home and we, you know, sit down on our couch and just go, what? <laughs> yeah. What? No, I, I mean, it's probably going to be no. years. I'm very happy with it and proud of Maybe it. Maybe a good year before they start adapting. And, Definitely till the season's so over. To put their all into a project that they love and then to have people enjoy it. Enjoy it. See it yeah. and like it. Yeah. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. yeah. I feel very fortunate. Make people. You know, I mean, I feel like in two like, weeks when the show's <laughs> over, they'll get a breather. Also, people outside of just the Critterverse really love this show. Like, I have people who don't know I anything wanna... about this, but know I vaguely do something sometimes connected to a role that might be critical, texting me going, I watched that show. It's like really good. Is this what you want me to start watching? I was like... <laughs> I'm sorry, you went out of your own way? I've go gotten many people to start Bible, watching it. Like, personally. Touch. Like, not just from the channel <laughs> or whatever. All, yes. Do you have a spare 700 hours to start watching all of their campaigns? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here's where you begin. But it's just really cool. My brother like, actually like started watching it because of me, even, even though he knew Critical of, like, Role. He didn't know that was coming out or anything. He it watches really it. My sister's reacting to it, too. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. The ability to open up the story to an entirely new audience is so exciting. Awesome. That was always a delicate balance, I think, we all kept in mind, even from script phase, yeah. even those initial meetings, because we knew that there was a, a big critter community, but we also wanted to be accessible and expand to just new people. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I feel like they did a very good um, job, because when I saw the trailer, going over the I just randomly fast, caught it on a like trending like this movie trailer TV website thing. Watched the game. Mm. We need to, or, or vice versa. And, and, you know, of course, what we wanted was for anyone to be able to plunk down and, and get wrapped up in it. But at the same time, you know, reward people mm -hmm. right. or like excite people that I, do know the story. Mm -hmm. um, you know, cause there's nothing better than if you've like read the books of something and you see it. That's why I have emotion. researched and like, done yes, the I things that. I've done I, because I, I want to catch no, it's, these it's so references. I, just want I mean, the campaign stuff, I can't, but. Like, oh, I love that Keyleth. In like five years I've been watching this show, and now you know who Keyleth is. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> there you, that, that is our gift, is now your mom knows who Keyleth is. You know I'm that, sorry your mom had to watch <laughs> that yeah, two-headed yeah, woman being boned by it. Scanlan. <laughs> true, true. She has seen terrible things. Oh yeah, but the two-headed woman with Scanlan. We're super justified that all His of strangest family, kill. Et cetera, are finally watching what they've loved for years and being like, you know what? It's actually pretty good. I get yeah. it now. <laughs> my 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 parents watch the animated series. Oh. They they watched campaign two of our show. They started watching during campaign two. I would love to see. To begin with. 
but their know, parents the react to, to this. Like, this. Do they really get it? Do they follow it? it? So these are the, those Vox Machina characters. I just <laughs> love it. I just love it. Like I really wonder so how much yeah. older people follow it so much more life, than you know, them like, just I, like I, I just pretending or Amazon just having it on in the background. Like my dad listens to stuff all the time. I don't think he ever absorbs it. I like that it was unprompted too. He just clicked on something on Amazon Prime and it happened to be the Vox Machina. It's so good. Looking on random cartoons, man. Mm. Look at that. Yeah, they'll go like, but just don't watch episode four. <laughs> yeah. just, just don't do it. Yeah. I don't tell my I mean, mom all the parts that I voiced outside of X so that she doesn't like have that in her brain, you know? Yeah. That's smart. You know what the thing that tipped him off was? Oh, too. well, you he just mentioned it, and now she might ask. Voice or anything. He was watching on an iPad. You know how you tap on the screen and it shows you the actors uh, in? Yeah. He saw Matt Murphy, and he went, I had Thanksgiving dinner with them once. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> That's so great. That's so amazing. <laughs> Um, I would love to get into the next episode. Um, our teleprompter went blue screen. So I know that there's, a, there's some stuff that I have to say before we watch the next episode. Oh, I can try, just like I kind of know the airplane, um, you know. That's hilarious. Is that why it's memory. longer than usual? But we're going to we sneak actually, in an extra question I mean, while we get yeah, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Going. Oh, so say, there's a reason why it's longer. We have Airlines. technical difficulties. <laughs> Keep the oh, prompter. The prompter. At all times. No, Not gonna, the prompter. I know we talked about it a little bit. Proctor. Before, before What's that from? Q&A, In the comments. The what is Proctor moment, from? Just a little bit more. It's a name. I'm proctor. Sorry, no, no, no. no. Yeah. Um, but if for people out there who hadn't seen Campaign One. Can you compare your reactions in the moment at the table to re your reactions first watching this animated? Oh, oh, just in general. Exactly. I thought she was going to do really, the sun you tree. It? You did not, really? Well, no, it's right there. Even it's right there. Even it's right, nope, well, nope. Yeah, maybe there were two. Oh my God, they're still talking the about the bug. That's little, why I'm like, what so are they, what? I did everywhere. a little Caleb Widogast little twirl and there's a dead bug in the hands. So. I'm proud of you. Mm. They have been on this bug for a good part of this episode. Q and A. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was yeah. I I remember going home that night after the game and like thinking about the visual of it, thinking about that moment, like as I was trying to go to sleep mm. at night, and and then getting to see it, uh, you know, in motion, mm. um, just kind of brought back all of the all of the horror mm -hmm. um, of the realization. I think for the audience, uh, you know, it's very obvious from the get-go. This is. Am I wrong? Movie. Every it's time I look at her, she looks it's exactly the most like Vex. In the That's why I, I mean, there's nothing the wrong with what they're saying. Not, it's just funny to me that they're like, she's so freaking hot. Vex is so freaking hot. They're basically like, like Laura, you're you know, hot. They're like, it's odd to me before. because she is Vex to me. It's just, I mean, it's a deep cut. Yeah. Well, it's it's it, and even in the original game, it was such a, a good prelude so that to, to kind of like put it out there of like are you okay you can, you can get off the you can get off the ride still mm. uh this is this is kind of what's ahead it's a, it was a very good uh uh sign of of the darkness to come oh yeah yeah fast. definitely so due to technical difficulties on their part there were extra questions dealing with episode five that is why the episode was so long we're almost into 30 minutes and i didn't even start talking yet so maybe i'll do a little quicker on this on my part just so they're not a year and a day and then we'll jump into six but we basically got what I thought we would. We didn't get any more animation from the characters, any different looks or anything. We got different looks at the world around us. Not necessarily any towns or cityscapes like we saw with Amon in the last trio of Q&As, but we get the beasties, which probably was my favorite. The way the beasts looked were crazy. There was four of them. The top right one, to me, looked the craziest. It looked like it had layers and more muscular look. It also had the split where it turned like Demi-Gorgon-like, that kind of thing. They looked awesome. There was then a second sheet of four where they looked like straight out of Evil Dead craziness. This is some horrific dark things. I also like that they showed they were actually wraiths. Was that in the last one, though? I can't remember now. This was such a long one. I don't remember because I jumped from one to the next. There was a thing where we saw the wraiths, too, and we talked about that. I think that was the last one. But either way, everything is cool. The way they do it all, the way they show all the things. We also saw the carriage. They were showing how should we make it like a little worn down, a little more worn down or like totally 
beat to shit. And the beat to shit one, I think, is the one they actually used in the episode itself. Because that thing, I remember making it a point to say how ragged and run down that thing looked. I don't even know why they were using it. You could see, like, straight through it no matter where you were. But, hey, I guess it's better than nothing. And they didn't really have a choice. So we went on our way. They showed the whole animated attack. The way the whole thing went down with those animated cell structures. What did they call it? They... I. I don't know how they call it, but it's like the cells to me, animation cells where it's all pieced together and it shows how they got from point A to point B as far as that situation went. They also showed the horse smash the rock at the bottom and it was bright red. I said in the episode how I didn't realize that was the horse the first watch around, but he even pointed out in the Q&A that he made it a point to put that horse splatter at the bottom and I even thought to myself... The horses went off the edge, but maybe they landed in the water. Maybe something happened. You know they're dead. You know even if they survive, they're not going to last much longer in this world. But you don't see it usually. He made it a point to show you and be like, yep, that horse is horribly dead. And now this dog is going to get up and walk with its half body all the way to Delilah because she knows what it's like in New York City. They talked about the sun tree in the beginning. Then they talked about how you relate your experiences in campaign one with how you actually saw the episodes, how you reacted to the episodes, knowing what's going to happen and knowing how you reacted to the campaign. I mean, I saw all the reactions. If you go back, I have videos up with the sun tree. I reacted to it two different times because the second time it was in another video of a bunch of chopped up events and that just happened to be one of them. So the second time around, I made it a point to watch the characters' faces to see exactly how they reacted to the events as they unfolded because they didn't know what was happening. And I said it many times, but Marisha and Sam realize it first. I think the rest of them are in a state of shock and don't even know what's happening, even when they're told what's happening. But they said it right there in the Q&A. That was where it all kind of began in the realm of what could and could not happen. They said it themselves. This is when we knew, all right, anything goes. This is the world we live in. They said it was probably the most serious, darkest, most impactful moment up to that point. And I'd have to believe it because if any other moment was that impactful, they probably would have put it into the show. So let's jump into episode six. We'll talk more in that one. You guys want to see more of what I do? Full and edited reaction to all the shows on the channel. Seasons ahead of what you're seeing and hundreds of exclusives. Patreon link in front of me. If not, comments down below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.